What's up guys, today is part two of the reptile room build. I'm super stoked, can't wait for you to watch this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So as you can see, I've cleared all my dad's stuff out of the garage and now I've got to rip out all the mats off of the floor and give them a good clean. So now to finish up cleaning, I've grinded a channel across here for the water to run if water leaks inside of the reptile room because we've been having issues with that. So I just made a little channel so the water can run away and get away from my cages. Now the floor is completely dusty and I've got to, you know, clean it up. And then we'll get the mat in today that I cleaned. And hopefully get to put up some lights also because there's no light in here. Only one power point for electricity that I'm going to extend and make a whole lot of them. But that will happen in time obviously. So we'll see what we get done today. Okay, so now I'm paying my brother to help me put the mats in here because my back sore and I hurt it somehow. So that's what brothers are for. And now cleverly enough, I forgot to put the underfloor heating down before the mats were put down. So now we have to rip up the middle strip of mats and put the underfloor heating. Let's do this. Hey, so I just spent the last little while wiring up some lighting and now let's set it up because we need lights in the reptile studio. Um, everything here is going to be kind of DIY because why not? So let me make a little fitting so I can connect the lights to the ceiling because they are these tube lights and I don't have the proper fittings for them. So I'm going to cut this PVC pipe, make a little ring, connect that ring to the ceiling, and then voila, let's do it. Let's get cutting. There we go, got all four pieces cut. I can't juggle, so no use trying. I gotta practice on that. I gotta work on that, that's better English. So now what's going to happen is, basically those rings are going to be glued to the roof like that, holding these tubes of LEDs up. And now I gotta make a little contraption to actually glue these to the roof, because I can't, drill through there because that's going to defeat the purpose of a roof that doesn't leak because I spent hours on this thing fixing it so it does not leak and I don't want to redo that. Woo! Okay, you know what? I think that's enough for tonight. I'm hungry. Gotta go get some food. See you guys in the morning. Okay, so back today. Let's keep working at it. So 
So there we go. A little tube for the light to hang in, just like that over there. And then we've got quite a nice surface area that I can glue to the ceiling or the roof so it doesn't just rest on here with all the glue. So it's now got a nice amount of surface area to stick to and it's got holes the glue can go through it and you know, just work better. So that's the idea with this. There we go. Got to cut off that little tip there. Ugh. If my knife was sharper, that would have looked a whole lot cooler. So we can look down the barrel and get it all nice. Oh, it's white. Okay, that was not what I was planning on, but hey. Generous amount of silicone. I'll probably add some more silicone on it in a bit, but let's see. Let's stick this to the ceiling and see how it sticks. That's just going to help it stick to the ceilings, giving it a bit of a scratch. And there we go. Let's put some gloves on so we can push it down without getting our hands all gooey. Okay, funnily enough, I actually prefer it on this one. If I look down from the ground, I think I might prefer it on this one or this one, and I'm not sure which one now. Yep, I'll put it on this one. Might need more glue now. That's cool. Next one. Let's see how this will work. There we go. Next one. Okay, so there we have it. Come on, get the focus, Bryce. So there we have it. I've put up those things to mount the lights. Um, tomorrow I'll put the lights up there because, well, glue takes time to dry and I don't want it to come falling down and crashing down in the night. So let's do some more electrical stuff. I got to put a PowerPoint there, PowerPoint there and there for, you know, power. So we can have electricity to plug in the cages and that. So now I've got to work on that. Let's see what we can do. Can get rid of these sticky bad boys. Sticky and stinky of glue. One of the big things that has gone into this reptile room is recycling. I'm pretty much recycling everything I've found and am using from the underfloor heating to the mats I'm sitting on, even the lighting. All of it was recycled and given to me for free. I didn't have to buy it. It's stuff that people were trying to get rid of. And that's what I wanna inspire you guys to do. You can also do this. I mean, it's not costed me anything. I don't have money. I can't afford to make a fancy nice reptile room. But hey, look, I'm doing it because where there's a will, there is a way. One day we'll get this done. But that's also a big part of it. Patience has a big role in the build of this. There we go. Even these plug power points don't look great because they were also recycled. And that's the best way to do it. Obviously you gotta check if they're still usable and not going to shock you. Bunch of old recycled stuff. It's gonna find a new home and a new purpose. Ah, that's what I was looking for. Uh, Woohoo! It works. Now, wiring time. It's hepper time. Can't touch this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this cable and split it. And then I'm going to connect it to, you know, this power.
power box. <gasps> you know what? I actually almost forgot. I need this thing before anything. In there. I did not wet my pants. Nearly choked on water, but hey. And don't worry guys, this is not connected to any power, so if I touch it, it's not going to, you know, kill me. The other end is not plugged into anything at all. Just by the way guys, my dad has been helping me out a ton with the electrical work because he is a contractor and builds houses and stuff like that so he knows what he's doing and that's how I'm not getting shocked and staying alive. Careful, wires quite pricky, you know? Pricky and pokey and wiry. Whoa guys, so I didn't film this but check what I've done. I've added a PowerPoint there a power point there, it's not connected to the electricity yet, but a cable running all the way there, and that's that power point I added that you did see, and then another one at this end. So what I forgot to mention is this whole room is mine now, not just the half, obviously that half is not mine, that is going to be the storage room, but we're going to be putting a wall down the middle here, and then the wall goes across there. So originally I was going to have one half of the garage, but now I'm going to have three quarters of it, which is super dope. I'm so excited. And there we have it, a DIY light thing. See, guys, everything I'm doing here is basically on a budget. Well, I have no budget even. So I'm saving everything and doing it all myself, DIY, everything I was given, and I improvise. That's what you can do too. So best do that. Let's go somewhere where you can actually see me. Oh, there we go. So that's one light up. Now I've got to get the other one and then connect everything to power, including these awesome power boxes that I have. This is going to be for my freezer which you are on top of right now which I was also given. I mean how amazing is that? I was given that someone had to get rid of it, it was old, it hadn't been used for four years so I was crossing my fingers hoping it would work and turns out it works perfectly and now I have a freezer for all the frozen, for all the frozen rodents that I'm going to be feeding the snakes. Can't wait for all these walls to be full of cages and that, but for now, I'm gonna keep this like wall with all my tools up because I'm still using it because the reptile room is under construction. Hung up, the cable looks terrible. That's across the roof over here, but hey, what can I say? It's better than not having any lights. Now let's put it in for the first time. I'm gonna unplug my film light, so. There goes that light. And three, two, one. Ta-da! Let there be light, we've got lights in here. Check it out, that is so cool. Obviously these are just the temporary lights. I wanna get like six of these in the whole room so it can be nice and really well lit. But for now, two will do just fine. It looks really, really nice. Definitely need more though because that's not bright enough. So guys, check at that. The door is closed in the garage. There is light in here. I've got my studio light on because it just helps out. And the freezer is running. Power is working. I just have to now sort out the mess of cables, clean everything up. We've got to get that wall put up in there. And then the cages can come. How exciting is that? I am over the moon with excitement. This is the coolest thing ever. So that's it for this video. I'm super stoked, over the moon with excitement. But if you guys want to help me, there's a Patreon link in the description and you can support me there and get some cool perks as well. 
So that's it for this video guys. Remember to go out, learn, explore, inspire and live it.